Hello, my name is Stephen Thomas with biztalkgurus.com. Um, today I'll be talking about the flat file disassembler output options. The flat file disassembler is used inside a receive pipeline to convert flat file documents into XML documents. Once we have our data converted into XML documents, they can be more easily handled inside of an orchestration or inside additional components for further processing inside of BizTalk. Now, typical flat file documents will have a header and sometimes a trailer record with typically many different detailed records in between them. So you'll have a single header, 10, 20, maybe a thousand detailed records, followed by a trailer. And this would arrive into BizTalk as a single batch or interchange. Now we have a couple different output options for how we want BizTalk to handle this single uh, flat file document. We can have BizTalk split it all up and debatch it into single records. Uh, with that it will actually strip off the header and trailer and give us out all our detailed records as single XML documents. We can have all of our records together. Again this will still strip off the header and trailer but we will get all of our detailed records out as a single batch. And our last option is we can have our records, our header, and our trailer all together in a single document out of the flat file disassembler. So all this does is essentially convert the flat file document into XML documents. Uh, something else that's important to point out about all these options it is a, it is an all or nothing process. If a single record has a bad character or isn't uh, meeting our schema specifications, the whole process will fail and the whole pipeline will fail. Um, in BizTalk Server 2006, this is changing and you will have the ability to suspend single um, records inside a flat file disassembler. But in 2004, it's all or nothing. So let's uh, hop over to an example real quick. This is based on the example that you can download through our website about the uh, flat file disassembler options. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is breaking everything up into single records. You can see here we have a header schema that is defined and we have a single record schema that is defined. Now in our input document it is just one single document but we actually have to define it as two separate pieces since we want to actually strip the header off. So here in our single record we have our uh, base defined with our body records. This body record will be equivalent to the detailed records inside the flat file document. Now the whole key to get single records out of the flat file disassembler versus everything together in a single batch is this property down here called minimax occurs which is located under the general tab of the properties on the body node is where we want to check that out at. Down here we have max occurs set to the default which is 1. When this is set to the default of 1 the flat file disassembler will create a new record a new message for every single detailed record that it encounters inside our single uh, batch input. Now we use both of these inside the flat file disassembler here inside the pipeline we would configure the document schema as our single record schema and our header schema as our single header schema as defined. Now our second option is to have all our body records out in a single XML document. Now here this is the same schema we had before and we would also use the same header schema that we defined before but here on our body record you'll notice that our general property max occurs is set to un unbounded. When this is set to unbounded the flat file disassembler will, will, will produce a single output record with our data in it. Now we can come over here and see that our flat file disassembler is set up the same way as our additional, our first disassembler, except this time we have defined a different document schema that points to our one with the uh, max occurs unbounded on the data record. Now, if we wanted everything together in a single message, both our header and all our many body records together, 
we could define our, our schema like this, where we have our base schema, then our header and our body, all defined in the same single schema. And then here under our body, we have a max occurs of unbounded. And this will produce um, all our body records inside a single document with the header preserved actually inside the document. Uh, the first two samples we actually uh, looked at would actually strip off the header and we have the option to put it in the message context if we wanted. Um, let's jump back here and here if we selected preserve header and set that to true it would actually take the header document and put the whole thing inside the message context that we could get out later if we wanted to essentially re, re uh, put the header back when we're sending the document out of this talk or if we needed to extract out or parse out the header to get out a batch number we could do that um, if we so desired um, so now with our all document where we want everything together in a single document our receive pipeline um, here where the flat file disassemblers defined no longer has a header document defined but instead we just have our single document schema that defines our document that includes both our header and our body with the unbounded records in there. So that's a very quick overview of the um, flat file disassembler sample that's available from our website. Now a few other things I want to point out here is we have some additional flat file schema properties that are av available for us. Now if you're not using BizTalk SP1, these schema, prop, uh, schema properties have to be manually added to the XSD by opening it up inside of Notepad and then adding these properties in there. Uh, if you are running BizTalk Server uh, Service Pack 1, these are um, available for you inside the UI. And if we go to a schema, click on the schema tab we will see these properties available early termination set there and we have look ahead depth parser optimization speed or complexity and suppress empty nodes now the highlights of these is allow early termination this will allow um, some flat file documents you receive will have trailing spaces removed and if you're doing a p positional document and you've defined your length of 200 positions when you start tacking off spaces at the end and you might only get 50 characters in that uh, record uh, BizTalk doesn't really like that but if you set allow early termination to true once it hits the end of the document it finds the carriage return line feed or whatever your trailing delimiter is it will just go on to the next record uh, we also have parsing modes we have speed versus complexity and this and we have suppress empty nodes which will when BizTalk converts the flat file to XML document, anything that has the default pad character as that's the only contents of the node will actually be suppressed. So if you had a pad characters of spaces for, uh, let me look, go back to our schema, if you had default pad characters of spaces for phone number and it came through as just 10 spaces, blank spaces inside our uh, positional flat file document and without setting this property we'd actually get a blank phone node and technically it'd probably have 10 spaces in it but if we suppress empty nodes since our default pad character is space our phone node won't even exist inside the document and things you should know um, working with flat file documents you always have to have a custom pipeline component because you have to use the flat file disassembler and that's not uh, anything that's pre-built for us um, optional nodes really slows down processing typically because you have to switch from the speed to the complexity parsing modes um, watch out for misparsing when working with optional nodes and that leads us into our last point is always test through BizTalk don't rely on the schema and mapper editor inside Visual Studios to do your testing um, I have seen occurrences where they behave differently and you get different output. Um, with that I'd like to conclude our uh, quick and brief overview of the flat file disassembler. Uh, be sure to check out our website at biztalkgurus.com for all the uh, latest samples and information. Thank you.